remember the story of Sueba, or the lady who never got to see her still baby after she was told the baby died at birth. I'm about to introduce you to a similar case, this time twins. It's taken seven years to resolve this case after a couple petitioned the Health Ministry, Medical and Dental Council and Shraj that they have been denied access to the lifeless bodies of their twins. They were only informed that the babies died at birth after excruciating hours of labor. Now the couple uh, were supposed to be in the studio with me, but the woman, Mrs. Irajwa Safwa Ado, is with me. Now we're going to find out from them what responses they've had. Uh, thank you very much for coming, and you're welcome. It's been seven whole years, uh, but you've raised the issue again with the current minister of uh, health. Sure. What are they telling you? Um, thank you for the opportunity given to me today. Um, we petitioned them um, recently. That was um, last month um, on the 11th. We petitioned them. And then um, since then, we've not heard from them. Nothing at all? Not at all. Why did it take seven years sure. for you to raise the issue again? Yeah, sure. Um, why now? Somebody may ask because of the trauma that I went through and then the inaction of the ministry. I see that to be very insulting mm. because um, I waited for them to do their own investigation. Honestly, at first, I thought that um, um, I'll hear from them very soon. But then, you've not I've heard not anything. Been able to hear from so them. narrate to me briefly because we're hard pressed for sure. time. Unfortunately, we had to do a live show. But sure. narrate to us briefly what you went through. You went through, after you had what you went in, into labor uh, for five hours or more. Um, it's more. <laughs> it's more. Yes. So narrate to me briefly what happened between the time you got into labor and the time you delivered, and when you were told your baby had died, and then you had the second one which okay. didn't work out. Um, on that day, I remember it was around 1, 1 p.m. I went to, uh, I started having contractions. So I went to, my, my husband drove me to the general hospital. To my general hospital. Sure. I, when I got there, um, I was told that um, I was having, a, I started having contractions and there was no show. That was the term that they used. So I was asked to be at the lying ward for a while. And then after... Ten days, there was nothing like no scan, nothing. And every day when they come, they check the heartbeat of the twins. They tell me they, they have the same heartbeat, which is not normal. For two different ba babies to have the same heartbeat, it it's not normal. normal. Did you question them? Yes, I did. And then all that they tell me is that um, it normally happens with twins, you know. So I, after I was asked to go home, the following day I started having the contractions again, so I had to report back to the hospital. When we got there, um, within just about f two minutes, the first baby came, and then they told me it was macerated. Nothing, uh, something that they are yet to explain to me. Okay. okay. Well, maybe if we had some uh, doctors, they would be able to explain to us. But sure. then again, what happened after sure. that? Sure. Then um, the second baby I was told was alive. They came to check the heartbeat. But then I was not having contractions anymore, and I told them they said I would be fine. Uh, but then I started having pains. Later on, that was about two hours later. Mm -hmm. That was around from 3 p.m. There was nothing. And I was told that um, the anesthetist was living outside the hospital and they have to go and pick her up in an ambulance which had no fuel. So, <laughs> so you did that an anesthetist and then they had to go and pick, him, uh, pick her up? Sure. And the ambulance, there was no, there was uh, no fuel? fuel. That, was what, that is so what, what they happened? claim. So after... They and all this while you were me. waiting? Sure, I was waiting and I was actually in pain. So at 4 a.m., that was when they, they operated upon me the following day. Wow. That was when they opened. And then the other baby was also gone. How did you feel at that time? Um, <laughs> the trauma, uh, I, I really will not be able to explain it. But then um, I thought it was, it was something normal So when I actually went through it. Did you, after that happened, you never saw the lifeless bodies of your twins? I saw them. They were deposited at the Kolebu morgue. They said they wanted to, um, they wanted pathological tests okay. to be performed. So I, we went together with them to deposit them at the morgue. They wanted to. But then, until uh, now, we've not heard from them. Your issue right now then is that you are 
you think that the negligence of the staff at the Tema General Hospital sure. caused you the lives of your twins? Sure. The, the circumstances surrounding it, uh, the whole thing, I think that they, they were not prompt enough. They, something that it needs to be, it is very simple. If um, you realize that a patient had actually told you that one of the babies is not kicking, or they, they have the same heartbeat, then you, sh you know, as a doctor, you should draw your attention to it. Did you ask them this I question after you, after you finally settled with the thought that you've accepted it, you've lost your babies? Did you begin to question them and begin to hold them or tell them that you feel they are responsible for the loss of I, the babies? Yes, I did. What did we they wrote say? to them. What? Our lawyers wrote to them. What did they say? And they said they will get back to us. They wrote back to us that they will want to meet us. They met us once and then that was it. What do you, what are, what's going to be your next line of action at this Currently, moment? Currently, we want to pursue the case in the court. Okay. And you would need the support of your, of your, of your station and the viewers um, to help us in terms of, you know, the legal task or the fees is not, is not that easy. Mm -hmm. um, they would, we would want them to help us in, in, in kind or in cash, any, any way that they can, they can support us. With. Okay. Um, if anybody is, in, is touched and want to meet us or want to get in touch with us, um, the number is 0266, with your permission. The number is 0266, that is 346, 21382. Okay. 21382. They what, are you, sure. what are the reliefs you're going to be seeking from the court? I, I will leave that to my lawyers. I know that um, for now, they will have to come to explain to me what was the investigation. What did they find out? Okay. As, as in what led to the death of, sure. your, they, of your twins? They will need to come and explain to us what led to the death of the twins. Have you had any children after that? Sure. By God's grace, we have had um, um, four kids after that. Oh, wow. Yes, Good for including you. twins. Aha, you got the twins back. Exactly. Congratulations Thank to you. Thank you very much. Because of time, we will have to leave, that, uh, leave our conversation here. here. Sure. But well, hopefully there will be people who will be willing to, to help you. Sure, people exactly. will be willing to extend exactly. you some sort of exactly. help. I've been speaking with a Rajwa Safwa Ado, a mother who lost her twins. Um, she is blaming hospital staff at the Tema General Hospital of causing the death of those babies. And he, she's seeking redress from them as well. Okay.